Hotel in Manila and we had a beautiful lady at the desk always welcoming the Filipinos and Pat Let's go, surprised Let's go. us and has given us a, quite a big upgrade so we're about to check out the room now and we'll show you in a moment. Hey guys, we're about to go to the Spiral restaurant here in the Sofitel at Manila. It's supposed to be one of the biggest, grandest mm. buffets here in Philippines. So we've been waiting to come for months to this destination and try it out. So we're very excited. Only for the bread, is it your first time here in Spiral? Yes. Or would you like Miss Clarissa to give you a tour of the buffet area? You want a tour? Sure. Yeah. Miss Clarissa will assist you to the table. I hope you enjoy Salamat. Thank you. Salamat. That is pretty busy. Alright oh, guys, this place is massive so we don't we don't even know where to start. I think we're just gonna start. We've already lost, we've already done like lost. two laps and we have no idea what we're using to I think we're just gonna grab a plate and rip in, so let's get it. Craziness, craziness in here. Try some, huh? Try a bit of pad thai. Probably just get a little plate to just a little one. Oh, mama, look at that coffee. Oh, the presentation. Wow. None of those. Fast dish. Kamusta. Chicken, yeah. Can we get the chicken tikka with some rice and a two nines, please? Oh, a little bit more. Ah, oh, salama. What curries do you have? We have beef We have the beef and the paneer. And what one's that one? Butter. Butter cheese. What is it? Butter cheese. We also have a vegetable. What one was that one? Butter cheese. I don't know. Yeah. I'll try a bit of the, that. The beef. Please. You actually have some butter chicken. Or... No butter chicken. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. That's my favorite. Two nines. Two nines. We have butter for alaka. Okay. Thank you. Two nines. Yes. Yeah. And some rice as well. Yeah, that's really good. Salamat. Salamat, sir. Damn, we got that. Chicken, beef, beef. And we got a bit of this. So let's go try this. That's all we've got so far. Baby, smile. That's so pretty. I'm going to try this beef Indian curry. I didn't really know what it was. Mm. Mm. There's so many flavors. And the meat is so tender. It just falls, falls apart. Damn girl, yummy, huh? Damn girl. And we asked for any naan that he recommended, so I don't know what naan bread this is. 
Mm. Mama Sita. Mm, mm. Yummy. We're gonna try a bit of the pad thai from the Asian section. The Asian section? Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. Mmm. <laughs> good? Oh my god. They give in like nice portions too, so basically you don't grab the plate and do it yourself. They will give you the plate with the contents on it so that they will distribute the portion for you. So kind of like that. So you're not wasting like getting heaps and then wasting it. Oh, first round done, baby. On to yeah, round two, right. baby. I think we're gonna get sushi this time because the sushi looks Look, absolutely juicy, baby. Absolutely juicy. <laughs> this place is packed, so it's quite busy, so it's a bit much holding. We've got to rip in, we've got to get in, fill up that. So we didn't go too hard with the sushi, we tried four different ones. Crazy rolls, so let's finish the world. <laughs> we please get some shrimp tummy. Same, same. Ah, salamat. Thank you for salamat. Can you try a little bit of the karagi? Yeah. Karagi. And this one here, yeah. what's this one? Yeah, we'll try that one. And then the mushroom. Yeah, yeah, sure. I'll just get for the opera. Okay, salamat. Uh, what is this? Number four. Number four. Where will we get? Salamat. Ah, fresh. You do? Well, I've got the right angle. Salamat. Salamat. Shrimp tempura, some chicken karagi. Is that what it's called? Chicken karagi, and it looks like a mushroom or something. I'm not sure, but we're just going for it, baby. We're trying it all. Oh. Salamat. Thank you so much. Enjoy. Thank you. Salamat, Paul. Alright, guys. We just got a bowl of this Italian moscato, as you can tell at the top. Damn. Very nice. It's very, very nice. Very expensive. <laughs> we just found out. <laughs> but very nice. I don't know how I'm supposed to eat it. Chicken tempura, guys. She's going to dip it in that sauce and she's going to rip in, isn't she? Are these chopsticks? Ah. Oh. Ah, she's found the chopsticks. Alright, guys. Look at the grip on it. Mmm, <laughs> so flat. Yeah, we got the fresh batch. Mmm. No, it's actually really good. Yeah? yeah. Mm. Super good. Mm. Damn, she's looking good eating too, hey? Doesn't she look pretty tonight, guys? Drop a like and a comment and subscribe if you think <laughs> she's beautiful. God damn. Man, it's so good. Hello, Kamusta. Damn, what the hell? What? I don't know. Freshly made pasta. Put anything in it. Oh, that looks dangerous, you know? Let me try one of each. Thank you. Okay, guys, just a quick heads up. This actually rattles. Nice, a little bit, please. This rattles my insides, meaning I'll be running to the toilet. But when you're here, you really just got to commit and enjoy it. Pasta and cheese. Pasta and the cheese. The two worst combination for him. Just uh, look at that, all that cheesy goodness. Went at the spiral buffet. Salamat. Salamat. Whoa, guys. Oh no. The toilet is speaking. <laughs> Get a little parmesan on that, puppy. Oh, let's try this French cuisine. It's had cold, but... Is it really? It's really cold, yeah. Let's try the carbonara. Mm. You haven't said how it tastes. Very cold, but yum. So it's shit. I don't know, no. Mm. If you're in Australia, you can get canned ravioli from Woolworths, like two dollars. That's what it tastes like. Good, though. 
Mr. Shelly Cobbinara. Very cheesy, but very young. Mm. Alright guys, we're at round two. Round no, two. we're at round three. Round two. <laughs> we're losing track. There's too many rounds, so we're just going round three. And let's go baby. We're gonna go maybe... Where do you want to go? It looks really cute. This is closed, ain't it? Oh no, we're going pizza. We're going to the pizza. French... French cuisine. And we'll get some pizza. So let's get it. Mmm. Chicken water zoi. Contains dairy. Like salmon leaves. Alright, we're trying some lasagna. Look at that. Mama. Look at it. You just it? So, uh, one Hawaiian pizza. A little bit more if that's okay. He asked more. <laughs> no, he asked if you wanted more. Oh. Perfect salamat. And uh, a Hawaiian? What'd you say? And then whatever you want. And I'll also try the butcher treat. Is that meat? Just all meat? Look. Oh, this one? Yeah, try that one. Salamat. Yeah. That looks like a meat lovers. Oh, butcher treat, so it'll be all meat. Beef. God damn. What is this? Where's duck? So this looks like the Asian. So I think you can get a full blown dish made. Chicken laksa. Hello, I'll take a little bit of fried rice. Let's see, salamat. Salamat. I'm saying it too fast. I smell that, like obviously the truffle, but I smell that the soup we have. Salamat. At the unique dinner. Right, let's see what we're going to whip up here. <clears throat> the Egyptian special. So we've got some pita bread. And then we've got some, some beautiful things to choose from. Some hummus. Oh, they've got little... We've got little... Those little all thing. look a bit dirty, so I'm going to... Just grab one from underneath. Oh. Mint yogurt. Mint yogurt, tapenade, tzatziki. They need some... Baba ganoush. They need some... What did we have the other day? Falafel. We need some falafel. I wonder if there is a bit of falafel lurking. Probably not. Sun dried tomatoes, pitted olives, marinated mussels. Alright, let's go back and give this a whirl. Or oh, you want to get some more quick? Because you got two hands. Yeah, we can get some. Uh, we'll leave the pasta to the other. Alright, look at this. Pesto butter, sun dried tomato butter, salted butter. This is butter. Honey truffle butter. You'd think this is ice cream, guys, but it's not. We're gonna come and try all the butter. Okay, we're doing it a bit wacky, but we're trying every bit of butter there is. There's so many options. Salted butter. Black olive butter. Sun-dried tomato butter. Pesto butter. Honey truffle butter. Unsalted butter. Apricot butter. All the bread. It look like ice cream. Look at it, a cute little table. What else? Maybe some of the vegetables. That's it. Look at the salad. Huh? Look at the salad. Let's give it a two salad. Salamad. Salamad. Yes, please. I can't pick what I want to eat. Salamad. Got a little cheese board area, god damn. Cheese board. Hello. Can I try a steak glass cookie?
I'll try a chocolate decadence. I'll try a flourless chocolate cake. I'll try a butterscotch. <laughs> we're trying everything while we're here. Um, I'll try a chocolate hazel butt crunch. Um, and I'll get a vanilla cream brulee, please. Just one. Salamat, thank you. <laughs> oh, what's she got? She's got some of this. I got everything. Bread and butter. Mm. Bread and butter pudding. It's condensed milk on the top. the last cookie oh looks like just like a jelly with Dana, so quick. tastes like tastes like pudding but with fruit it's really good so I've just ordered a banana and a Nutella crepe being made for me as we speak. Mango vanilla ice cream with some goods. Mm. <laughs> hmm? Yes, please. I'm just gonna drizzle my drizzle my cream. Good that looks. So it's banana and it's a Nutella with a drizzle of chocolate. Freshly made. Oh my god. Good. It's so warm. I mean Nutella tastes like Nutella. Look at the screen. This amazing buffet features an interactive gourmet dining experience that gives you a taste of dining in 21 different countries in a single place. Not only is the presentation out of this world, it is top quality and taste with an amazing atmosphere and flawless service. We highly recommend putting this on your to-do list when you visit Manila as it's totally worth the money and the experience. Wow, the chandeliers are fire. So it's the next morning and we just wanted to give a little overview explaining our experience last night at the Sparrow Dinner Buffet. We were blown away with the amount of cuisine, how great the service was. Um, usually when you go to a general buffet, you grab the plate and then you serve how much you want. At this buffet, basically 
they will have the plates behind the counter and then they will portion, portion size it. for you. So you're not wasting. They give you a nice little decent sized portion where you can try on it. We tried absolutely everything. Yeah. So good that they give you a little portion and then that way you can kind of dib dibble dabble yeah. into everything. It, so I really like that, that yeah. concept. It avoids overeating the same food and it gives you the ability to try a little bit of each cuisine. Yeah. As there is so much to try in the buffet, mm. you really... Like every cuisine there is, you want to yeah. you want to give everything a taste, and it all tastes amazing. So so just dibble dabble into absolutely everything, and then by the, towards the end of it, you can kind of see what you want and go or back. what you like more. Go, and go back, back for second and third. Save a bit of room and save some room for dessert because there are the some dessert. good options. So yeah, what was definitely. the dessert? Chocolate fountains, ice cream, hello hello, halo halo. So much little what treats, pastry, little, little cakes. cakes. It was just so much. So and desserts, my favorite. So that's where I really shine. Definitely, <laughs> she re really shines. We wanted to also explain the price. So it was twenty five percent cheaper. Twenty percent cheaper. Sorry, twenty percent cheaper. I think it's one the weekday there's a bit of a discount during the week and because we also guest in the hotel yeah so they give you like a little discount so basically it was eight thousand and twenty two pesos for the both of for us. the both of us but minus the twenty percent which was sixteen hundred and four pesos so minus that came off and then we also got a bottle of wine because it was cheaper than getting a glass so a glass was about nine hundred and twenty eight pesos for some moscato so our bottle of Moscato was 3,772 pesos, which is about 100, 100 Australian, Australian dollars. So. We went a bit crazy, but it was Italian Moscato and we were sold because we love Moscato. Yeah, yeah. So we were like, went in Manila That's and it. went in the spiral dinner. Let's <laughs> get some $100 yeah. bottle. We, back in Australia, Australians will know the Brown Brothers, which is a mm. very affordable but beautiful yeah. wine. It's probably $13. <laughs> yeah, it's $13 Australian dollars, but it tastes yeah, amazing. We tastes love it. tastes excellent. So a little reminder. So all up for that night, it costs 11,318 pesos. And obviously that includes the 10% surcharge. Yeah, so basically, yeah. Little things you got to remember is the taxes. So you might think, okay, this is what it's going to equate to. But at the end, you do have to equate for the VAT tax and obviously the service charge tax, which on our service charge was 1,053 peso. And that's and that's general in Manila. And yeah, that's, in the yeah. Philippines, it's very similar to America where you've got your mm. kind of, and you can tip on top of that as well. Yeah, and your VAT amount was 1,091 pesos as well. So it's not, just in case you're trying to work it out before you go, just, it's more. just remember to include the taxes as well because otherwise you'll over budget or under budget. It's pretty good for what you get. Um, oh, and the Moscato is definitely worth it. So we had we a little bottle service. With the... Yeah, and then at the end of it, we went to leave. And he and spilled the whole thing on someone. I spilled oh my gosh. the box that, or the bucket that the Moscato sits in on ice. Somehow I've walked past it and I've Lies hit it and it spilled over someone, the water. And so. we're sitting right next to the staircase, so everything echoed. I know. But it's just classic Sophia and Ready style. It's just we got classic. an exit with an entr entrance exit. We got an exit, exit with a boom. So. Exit with a boom. So. <laughs> Obviously, we're very apologetic, but yeah. it was just unfortunate. I didn't even know how it happened, but it, it took did. a while. We had a laugh. Mm, and then wasn't we even left. drunk. <laughs> just yeah, he was good. He was good about it. Understood it was a mistake, like an accident. So we're good. So we give that probably. What would you? What would you rate it? Oh, ten easily. Ten easy. It's a spiral buffet in Manila at yeah. the Sofitel. Crazy Filipino people. Obviously, just straight up. As soon as the water goes low they were already on it as soon as my wine went down they were ready to top it up like so it's really it's just, just like impeccable service impeccable really. like they're all over it as soon as you need a new plate a new fork as soon as you're finished with your food they're ready to take it and just top it up so it's really and just I think second the difference to is which we've experienced through our whole trip in manila in philippines sorry is that every everyone says hello everyone makes you mm. feel welcome you don't walk past one person without them saying hello and we say yeah. salamat hello kamusta we really try and use some tagalog yes, we've, and, we've implemented yeah, yeah. we've learned a little bit of tagalog along the way which you should and the filipino yeah. people i think really appreciate it so yeah some of them are tongue twisters but we're learning we're, we're learning we're trying <laughs> so we are just heading down to breakfast at the spiral breakfast mm. again which we were at last night, we had the spiral dinner, so we're treated with a spiral breakfast. Kamusta, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> Trying. We're going to see how water is still good time. That's a good table. That's a good table. Ah, 
Thank you. Pastries. Alright guys. As you saw we had the spiral dinner last night. And we've got a spiral breakfast. Yeah, we didn't realise that the spiral is Puts also on the our same breakfast. Yeah, it's also a buffet for breakfast, which is huge. So it's we're kinda like overwhelming again. We're kinda breakfast. lost again, so let's go again, let's challenge. <laughs> And also get a French toast if you don't mind, please. Ooh. Mm, your boy loves his French toast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, with some maple on it, sorry. We'll get an omelette too. Salamat. Wow, that's good. Salamat. All right, guys, first round on the way. We're getting some French toast. Get some Frenchy with some maple. Look how beautiful this place is. Incredible. Whoa, look at that. Mama. Whoa, look at all that. Salamat. Have a great day. Salamat. 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 All right, what are we getting next, baby? Fried egg. Fried egg? Wow, this is the omelet. Make a nice omelet. Pick what you want as usual. And put uh, the well, well done. Sure. Yeah, we've got all the goods up here. Dave's getting the sunny side up. I'm yeah. the one holding two plates. Dang. What happened to hold She's these holding plates? three, guys. <laughs> <laughs> What's on that side? Uh, I think it's like that tempura stuff again. That was Cooking up all the eggs. Good morning. All right, guys, I'm getting, I'm getting onion, tomato, and ham. Fresh army. Juicy. Yes, salamat. So I had my omelet. It was incredible. So I don't even know what to say. The omelet was so good. I didn't have like some weak cheese in it, but it was honestly the best omelet I've ever had. Wow, look at that juice. She's getting some fresh pancakes, some fresh waffles. Yeah, you don't get what's on display, you get a fresh one cooked for you. Yes, so don't get these because they're cold. Get the fresh one. They're their displays. Yeah, they're displays. That's what I said. But why are people grabbing these? You know. How many are you getting? She has to make it. Wow, look how professional that is, yeah. It's actually crazy. Perfect circles, no? Are they not? This incredible expertise. <laughs> Some Gordon Ramsay action. Some Gordon Ramsay. You bloody donut. I'm oh, getting some fresh waffles. Wow. Get some fruit over there. Fruit platter. This place is incredible, guys. Ice cream for breakfast, just in case. Get the ice cream with the treats. Different ice cream than last night. There's less options. But Vanilla, chocolate, strawberry. Oh, oh. I've had Eva Longoria before. Yes. Thank you. That's so wow. sweet. Oh, oh. Wow. thank you. <laughs> She's been coming. Australia. Australia. Mm. Where are you from? Here. Yeah. Manila? Yeah. Perfect. Salamat. Wow. Thank you so much. Salamat. Wow, look what she's got. Wow, my favorite. Juicy. Cats up, guys. Damn, she's about to come down the chute, baby. Dang. Wait, God dang. She's getting that unsalted butter. Salted? Salted, she's my bad. No, this is my weakness. I love almond croissants, I love cinnamon rolls, I like these fruit danishes. 
and I love banana bread. Like, I don't know what they expect me to do. <laughs> Morning, Kamusta. Look at that. Looks like not Damn, enough. guys. <laughs> My girl can throw back. Anyone want to challenge her in an eating competition on YouTube? Let's let's do a video. So she's taste testing all the good pastry. When you're in Manila, what else are you expected to do? First impressions of Manila, Manila breakfast. I'm not gonna lie, guys, I had the meanest omelet. Have a nice day. Thank you. Have a nice day. In Tagalog. Um, or how do you say like a short version? Like, of like salamat and that's thank you. Okay. And then have a, have good a nice day. day. Magandang mag magandang araw. Yeah. Oh, like sounds that. difficult. Yeah, sounds very hard. Okay. <laughs> Guys, I'll, have a nice day. Uh, I'll study that one. Yeah. You say salamat po if they say you say thank, thank you. you. Salamat po. And then welcome is like walang anuman. Walang anuman. I know that. I know that one. Magandang umaga for good morning. Oh, don't know that one. <laughs> Say that one again. Magandang umaga. Magandang, Magandang anuman. Anuman. umaga. Uh, umaga. Uh, oh, we're going to research it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to brush okay, up on it. Salamat. <laughs> Woo! Bye, Sparrow. Bye. In my belly. Go bad belly. Oh, no. Nah, I'm bye. Oh. Bye, Sparrow. All right, guys. We've had the Sparrow breakfast. Woo! Baby killed it, as breakfast. always. <laughs> <laughs> the best breakfast I've ever had, and I've been yeah. to some places. Best been, breakfast. We've been to a fair few resorts since we've been. I'd probably say eight, and yeah. that was easily the best one. So we knew it would be, but it did not disappoint. Best for last. Best for last. 